Hey YouTubers, welcome to Dude Randomly Force Channel and an update performance test on the GTX Titan X 4790K Nothing Server Clock full system spec can be found on my about page. Now GTA 5 was just updated in Steam. The update was around I think 170 meg, not a huge update, but we're gonna do a max out update performance test. The last patch was 335.1 and the new one is 350. So I don't think they have changed anything in the options menu. I can't find any notes on what they've done. But the one thing they have done which is really annoying. It's not a huge deal. Last night I installed a mod where I could pretty much be, you know, do anything I wanted. Change characters, teleport anywhere. It was friggin awesome. It was up till like... 3 a.m. in the morning just having so much fun but after this new patch it doesn't work anymore so I guess we just have to wait until they update the mod because it's really annoying I was gonna do some cool crazy mod video today do a performance test just going crazy with mods but it's not gonna happen until they update the mod kind of a shame now we are maxed out, I don't expect to get 60 frames per second and for people who say Wow man, what a waste of money, a Titan X can't push this game at ultra 8 times MSAA is extremely demanding That's the reason this I won't uh, get 60 frames per second on this game If I turn it down I will, but this is a maxed out test and we go into the grassy area part but yeah I went nuts last night with the mod man you can play as a chimp, you can play as an alien you can spawn any vehicle, it was so much fun now I have to play normally, it's annoying so we're down here we're gonna drop in frame rate Unless they've improved. I don't know what they've improved. It's kind of annoying. Okay. We're dropping a lot down here. So the grass is still extremely demanding. Oh my god. Is he okay? Oh my god, he survived that, and he's just going on as normal. Really? I'd be in shock if that happened to me. Let's try that again. Get up after that one. Oh. Okay. Okay, we're down to console mode. GPU utilization, 94%, 93%. Ninety two, that still has problems. CPU usage. Okay, that's usually I think I see around seventy percent and it jumps around a lot. If you're wondering why my GPU is so cool, that's because I have a custom curve. And you can see that. You can see a picture of the curve I use on Twitter. Oh shit. But yeah, we would be getting over 30 frames per second if it was utilizing the entire GPU. Man, this game is so much more fun with mods. I mean, it's a great game, but just being able to do anything you want. Oh, shit. I was really looking forward to showing you some stuff today, but oh well. No, 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 no. Car doesn't swim. Man, I can't drive on the friggin' grass. This is... Oh, rabbit. Okay, let's get back up. We can make it. 
27, 26, 25, 24 frames. Oh my god. 23, 22 frames. Whoa. Oh, bloody hell. This is going perfectly. Come on. Man. 91% usage. Don't know why it does that. Wow. Even this part. Oh, shit. We're still not at over... Th okay, we're just over 30 now. So I don't know what they fixed. And I'm guessing they will release notes. Just not yet. And Dying Light has also updated... So this will be a patch update day. Oh, shit. All right. Okay, enough. 22 frames. Let's leave it there. Jesus. I think, where was I? Where did we start? Was it in the 50 mark? And down here we are. 22. So thanks for watching my update FPS performance test on the new patch GTA 5. Maxed out. Until next time. Peace.